Hey guys, today's video is about the amazing Carlink Kit CPC200 T-Box Plus, which is an AI Android box for a massive upgrade to a standard CarPlay car. Let's have a look. So I imagine some of you are wondering what an AI box actually is. Well, they have two main purposes. One of them is to unlock an amazing amount of additional features for cars which only have basic Apple CarPlay. And by that, I mean, it's going to give you the ability to watch Netflix and YouTube and install any apps you want, because it's going to give you full Android access on a standard Apple CarPlay car. It also makes Apple CarPlay wireless in the car if they do not already have wireless Apple CarPlay. And the beauty of these is that you literally just need to plug them in using a USB cable to your car, and that's it, nice and easy. Now, if you frequent my channel, you probably know that I've already reviewed the T-Box from Carlink Kit, this one here, and uh, this is the sort of the budget version. The plus version, this one here, has four gigabytes of memory and a decent processor, so it should be pretty fast. It also has a 4G modem built in, so you can actually pop a SIM card into this and give your car internet access all the time if that's something that you want to do. Anyway, let's have a look at this one. And here it is. And you can see that it has a kind of textured top. And I don't know if you can see, but this has got a kind of a very dark blue, like a navy blue. And that's what sets it aside from the lower priced version of this box, which is black. Uh, on the back of it, you can see it's uh, kind of vented. And just having a look at the top here, you can see the USB entry point is here. That's what you need to plug into the car to make it work. You can also put a SIM card into this to get a permanent data connection if you want to do that. And over here you have a micro SD card slot that is for additional storage where you can put movies and music or whatever onto that card and you'll be able to play them back in the car. And that's pretty much it. So let's go and plug it in and see what it's like. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm sitting in my brand new Ford Mustang Mach-E, which has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as standard. And here we have the Carlink Kit T-Box Plus and the USB cable, uh, which I'm now going to plug into the USB port on the car. And now that I've done that, the only thing we have left to do is actually switch the car on and see how long it takes to boot up. So just booting the car up now. Loading. Your iPhone supports Apple CarPlay, enable. Connecting to Apple CarPlay. And there we go. Now I should remind you, I don't get paid to endorse any company or product, including this Carlink Kit system. However, I will provide you with links in the video description as usual. And with Carlink Kit in particular, if you use the discount code Saab, you will get, I believe, 18% discount off of your purchase, which makes this a really, really good deal. This is the dashboard, and this is what you're gonna see once you plug the T-Box Plus into the USB port. This is what you're gonna have on the display of your car. And again, this is what it looks like on the Mustang, but this will work in any car that has factory Apple CarPlay. And if you have an aftermarket head unit, which is compatible with Apple CarPlay, this will also function as well. On the top left here, we have a widget that plays back music. Currently it's playing music back from the Spotify app that's currently installed. But if you prefer, you can stick your MP3 files on a micro SD card, put it in and it will play music back like that as well. Below the music widget, you have four applications. Now these apps are your choice. You can pick and choose what you want to display here and I absolutely love that because it means that the dashboard is always going to be functional. As you can see, I have Google Maps, Spotify, the car scanner, which is going to show me data from this car, which I'll show you in a bit, and ZapMap because this is an electric car and I need to know where I can find electric charge stations. And then 50% of the screen here is Google Maps, which means you don't even need to open the app because on the dashboard, most of the screen is for navigation already. You got your search bar up here, you type in where you want to go, nice and easy. And on the right hand side here, we have a bar with the time up here. It gives you quick access to the last application that you were using. And then you have this button down here, which takes you to your applications, nice and easy, which has changed to a home button now. So if you tap that, it will take you back home. This is an amazing dashboard and it's 100% 
the best dashboard I've ever seen on one of these portable Android devices. And the fact that you have Google Maps running on the actual launcher itself is absolutely fabulous. And the music player is compatible with Spotify. Again, it really ticks all the boxes. Really love it. So this is Android 11. And you're probably wondering how you navigate it because there's no actual Android buttons on the screen. And they've done that with this ingenious little button down here. So you can actually drag this around and put it somewhere more useful. If you tap it, you're gonna get your Android buttons. All right, let's do the standard speed test that we do with these Android devices, starting with Spotify. There we go. That's really, really fast. You can see how that processor and the memory is reacting very, very quickly. That's faster than any other AI box that I have tested to date. Right, let's try Waze. Again, that was the fastest load time for Waze of any of the other AI boxes that I've reviewed, which makes this the best buy so far. Now, one of the main things that people buy these boxes for is video, because obviously CarPlay does not allow you to play video in your car, and this box will allow that. So as you can see, I've got Netflix over here, and you can watch pretty much anything you want from here. Or alternatively, you can watch YouTube, and there's uh, no limitation to what you can watch with this. And then of course, remember that it's Android, which means you can install whatever applications you want. And what makes that particularly useful in a car is you can get car diagnostics if you pair this via Bluetooth with a ODB2 reader. So if you have a look, I have car scanner here, and um, this will show me live data whilst I'm driving of pretty much anything that I want to view. All of these sensors are, are visible and there are other things that I can do like diagnostic uh, trouble codes here so I can read and see if there's any problems with my car. And the other reason why some people might buy this unit is because it gives you the ability to turn a wired Apple CarPlay car into a wireless Apple CarPlay car and wireless Android Auto as well. And you do that uh, with the app Auto Kit here. This car does already have wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so I won't be using that. I strongly recommend though that if you buy this unit, don't use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. This full version of Android is absolutely spectacular. It gives you limitless functionality in your car, including the standard stuff like navigation and music playback. So if you buy this unit, try to use it as it is designed like this because it is absolutely spectacular. Anyway, I hope I've answered all of the questions that you might have had with this unit. If there's anything that I've missed, please do ask in the comments section below and I'll see what I can do about answering them. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this type of content because there will be a lot more coming up.